Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delivery Studios. You welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I uh, will be looking at the WhatsApp-like custom list view with image and text using the base adapter. The list view of WhatsApp that has the picture, the text, and also showing the availability and some other functionalities like mobile work home. Um, in this post, now we will see. I will look at the example of the customized list view, which looks like WhatsApp contact list. And uh, you know, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be using base adapter to achieve the design. So each item of list view contains one image view and three text view. Yeah, just like the WhatsApp uh, list view, as you have seen uh, on your screen right now the list view with the ID list and also the image view which is going to stand for the profile picture the text view like the member name the status and also the concert type so that's the three uh, text view we'll be talking about and the image view that is holding the profile picture as you're seeing right on your screen um, we are going to look at the general development of the application, the string, the uh, activity main, the main activity, the Java class sys. I uh, will be looking first of all, we'll start from the string XML that declares the necessary string used in this application. We can find it in the values, the string XML. I'm using Android Studios. Um, we have the app name we have the names which is in a string array which stands for the names of the members the robot Chani, virtual Maddie, kate and aq uh, we have the profile pictures there is also an array for that that's holding each user profile picture from the drawable folder and uh, we have the string which is also specifying the status the availability, the busy in a meeting at work, and so on. We have the concert type as well. It's also in a string array format which specifies the availability as well at home, work, or mobile. Uh, quickly, let's look at the activity main XML, which is the default XML, holding the list view, is the linear layout with the list view calling the ID of list. Those ID are always very important in Android application. Let's look at the list item XML, which is also a, lay, a, lay, a layout. Uh, it's a relative layout with image view, which is holding the profile picture. The text view, which is the member name. The text view, another text view also, which is the status and the last text view, which is you no, know, talk about the three text view and one image view, which is the concept type of the application. Okay, let's look at the Java classes where we we'll get to set the logic of the application. Uh, we'll first of all pick up the row item as a class called row item. Okay, this is a constructor, it's declared for, uh, for fields, the profile pick ID, the member name, the status, and the concept type the three text view and one image view, the row item constructor holding all this field as a parameter and initializing them. We have a get and a set method for each field. The get member name, the set member name, the get profile picture, the set profile picture, the get status, just like that. Um, Let's take a look at the custom adapter Java class which is actually doing the interchange okay it extends the base adapter the constructor holds a context and a row item for each row there's a list view in a list view we usually use an adapter you know you get the count the size of the row items you get the item the position and the ID of each item that is a view order method that holds on to the three text view and the and the image view and there's a get view method who calls on the position the convert view 
and the parents, the where it's actually coming from. All uh, this also has a variable order that holds the member name, the profile picture, the status, and the contact type. Okay, I think that is well understood. Let's look at the main activity, which is the, the, uh, the master activity of this application. You have a string array, which extends activity and implements on the item click listener. We have two three strings array and a typed array for the picture, the three strings for the text. Uh -huh. We have the list for the list row and the list view for the display of the list. There is an uncreate, which is quite there, calling on the layout of the activity main. The row items is being initialized with the array list. The member names get the resources from the array of the, each member names. The profile pictures also get an array from the profile pictures, the status. Likewise, the content type. There is now a for loop to iterate between this uh, list of arrays, which is going to actually be figured on the member names with the length. When you get the member names, the profile pics, the status and the content type is attached to you. So the member name is the ID for the iteration. Now the list view find the ID, the list, which is the XML to actually display the list view. And it says the adapter. So there's like an unclick list now to this um um this this acts particular view. On item click, there's an there's a parent and a toast message just shows up. You know, this can be taken to another page. On item click, link us to another activity that calls on different function. But for this um, tutorial, is a short one. There is just a toast message that pops up the members name when you click on each row of the item. With this analysis, I think you should be able to pick up this application. Get yourself used with the coding of um, the list view of Android with the use of the adapter and also the row item the get and set method to set them and to get them back you know and populate and use an on-click now on each item click to probably another page or for another functionality let's take a run of this application in my journey motions emulate okay we get to see what we have yay okay jelly motion it's right here. Yeah, let me bring it to the center. Okay. Okay. It starts to beat successfully. It's populated on the journey motion. I have to click. Okay. I also have my Samsung device for test. So I can pick the two by holding on your control key to select or control A. So it's going to render devices, the emulator, and my Android device, Samsung Android device, right with me, right? Okay, can you see? All right, the list view is being populated just like the way. The chatting system of uh, the list view, the chatting system of WhatsApp, which has the image view right there, the three text view I mentioned. You know, so there can be a, an unclick listener listens to when a click happens to this. A toast, which I said earlier, brings out the member name. So this can be actually directed to another page or for another functionality. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you've learned a lot from this lesson. Don't forget to always subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.